If you are still in love with your ex, this video is for you. How to let go of your ex boyfriend, girlfriend, or your ex relationship. Most times people will be in a relationship, but their mind, soul, and body is with another person. You are struggling to love your present lover, but the love is not growing because your heart belongs to someone else. But that someone else doesn't want you because of one thing or the other. This video will help you to heal and help you to overcome that particular inner burden. So share this video. Make sure you comment and tell me what you think about this video on the comment section because I'll be there to respond to each and everyone's question. Now let's go. Number one thing you need to know here is allow yourself to grieve. Allow yourself to grieve. Yes, you invested your time and resources in that relationship and what have you, but it didn't work out well. Yeah, grieve. Grieving is normal because if you don't grieve, you cannot heal. If you don't grieve, you cannot heal. Do you understand? Just like when someone has an accident, you have an internal bleeding. Nobody is seeing that internal bleeding. For that internal bleeding to heal, there have to be a medication. And that medication is what? Your medicine. So for you to heal, you need to grieve. Allow yourself to grieve. And once you're done grieving, you know deep down, you yes, I am done with this grief. You want to move on. This is the next thing you need to do after grieving. Practice self-care. What is this self-care all about? If you are the kind of person after your relationship, you have been indoors, you have been feeling inferior, you have been feeling intimidated, you have been feeling all sort of things, like you are no longer yourself. Pick up your pieces and pass out and push all those leak holes in your life. Meaning, if you have not been going out, pick up your bag, dress up, look good, and step out. You may get someone else to replace that man you call ex. And also, if your, your ex has been bullying you because you are fat or something, he bullied you, and because of that, you have low self-esteem, pick up those stuff and rebrand yourself. Practice self-love. Practice, begin to love yourself. A man must not love you before you love yourself. A woman must not love you before you love yourself. So practice self-love. That is the second one. The third one is create distance. If your ex, you still have your ex number, delete it. If you are still viewing each other's status, block it. Like, just heal from that particular person. A lot of people, even after breaking up your ex, you still sneak to go and watch the person's video on, on social media. You have to stop that madness. Yes, because if you keep on doing that, you can never heal. Let go of that man. Stop peeping whether he's watching your status, whether he's viewing your status, whether um he has come online, whether he has made a post, whether she has made a post. All those madness does not count anymore. The person in question is your ex. You cannot keep on dwelling in your past, man. Move on. Number three here is focus on the present. If you're in a relationship, try to build that relationship let go of the past because sometimes a lot of people past is affecting their present that is your present relationship because of that if you are making love with your partner you still feel as if you're making love with your part your ex because your ex was very good in bed so anything you want to make love to the person you're still remembering your ex like a lot of things just going down through you and inside in fact you are finished you need to let go do you understand me focus in your present after you're done deleting and disconnecting yourself from your ex in every angle, the next thing you need to do is breathe in and breathe out. Then move on to the next stage of life. Do you understand me? Good. Then the next thing you need to do here is reflect and learn. Reflect and learn. What are the things you need to reflect on? What did it, what did you do wrong when you were in that relationship? How did this guy treat you? How did this woman treat you? What do you want to what do you want to correct? And you don't want that sentence to repeat itself in your next relationship. You need to reflect. Because if you don't reflect, your next relationship will end up like the previous ones. So all those things you know that you did wrong in your... If you're the kind of person, if you're a lady, you lie so much, you cheat. You, you, you did hook up and he caught you and you guys ended up. So whatever thing you did in the past, try to correct it. Make sure that thing does not repeat itself again. There's something they say, it takes two to tango. So if you want your present relationship to move on, you have to be the, you have to make sure that you stand firm so that the two can tango. Do you understand me? Very good. So now the next thing here, the, the six points here is seek support. If after doing all these things, you're not getting help 
you can actually visit a relationship therapist office seek for help like you can you can you can you can um you can seek for help seek for help if you need help because there's a way you love a person you cannot let go despite you fighting so hard to let go you cannot let go because the love you had for that person is too much for you to let go what you need to do is seek for help how do you seek for help the love relationship therapist that has a physical office meet them physically do you understand? If you require you to actually voice your inner body to somebody, maybe I've been keeping this in for so long. Maybe when you were when you were going out with your partner, you had so many miscarriages, so you have so many abortion for the person. In fact, your life is miserable because you did so many shit with this man, or you did so many things with this lady. Your life is miserable. Like you are fighting to let go of your own being. Seek for help discuss this with someone with your friend with a pastor with someone that can give you a good advice do you understand me very good so the next thing you need to do here is forgive yourself and realize that yes whatever thing that came to your life wasn't there to stay forgive yourself and realize what whatever thing that came to your life wasn't there to stay with that you can move on good the number one half here is give yourself time a lot of people, when they are out from relationship, bah, they don't enter another one. I wonder how people will leave relationship after two weeks you're in another relationship. How do you do that, man? The thing here is that you have no healed. You are still broken. And the fact that you are broken, you will be transferring that aggression in your next relationship. Do you understand me? You need to let go, forgive yourself, and actually realize your mistake. Give yourself time to heal. You, minimum time you should give yourself shouldn't pass one month to heal. And if you have been, if you have broken up with your ex and it's more than one month, you need to move on now. Enough is enough. Move on. Do you understand me? Good. Then the last one is cultivate new connections. Cultivate what? New connection. With that, you can be the best lover any man or any woman can have in his or her life. Stop dwelling in your past your past is over move on to the next level do you understand so if you can carefully listen to this video over and over and over and over and over you will jot down those things i mentioned all those things i mentioned just jot it down jot it down and follow it up jot it down and follow it up i'm telling you if you can follow these things i say you will be okay you'll be fine do you understand me very good just know that I love you, but God loves you more. So don't let anybody keep you on the floor. You need to stand up and face your future. Time waits for nobody. If you're here mourning for someone else, the person is there enjoying him or herself. So don't let someone else time to delay your own targets. Thank you. God bless you.